Hey everyone, I'm Alara, your stream sensei. And today, I wanted to show you how to adjust the parameters inside of YouTube Studio that affect things like your mouth, eyes, eyebrows, and tons of other parts of your model. Sometimes you just can't get that mouth quite where you want it or your eyes reacting the way you want to. So let me show you how we can fix that. Let's get going! First, go ahead and click on the cog wheel and head over to the third icon. From here, this is gonna bring up all the different parts of your model that you can adjust to the way that you want. Now, I use a program called vBridger, which does offer me some additional options that you may not see in your own menu. If you don't see as many options as I have, that's okay, nothing is wrong. It's just something you should be aware of. As you see, we can change anything from our left eye open, our right eye open, the smile, our brow form, or even our mouth. For today's example, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your mouth smile as well as the mouth open parameters. First, go ahead and head down to the folder that you want to adjust and click the plus button. As you see, we have our input as well as our output, our smoothing, and then a couple different numbers right down here. Now, the numbers down here to the right, you're gonna to wanna to leave them how they are. These are normally numbers that your rigger has specifically set in place, so try not to touch these. These numbers here to the left are the ones that we're going to adjust. Now, the way that I like to remember this is, the lower this number is, the easier it is to reach this maximum level. For example, here is my full mouth open. As you can see, it's set to 0.67. So if I went ahead and lowered this number, let's say to 0.3, it's gonna be much easier for my mouth to be open, as you can see. Now, if I was to change this number to something really high, it's gonna be very difficult for my model to reach this maximum parameter. Let me show you. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to two. And as you can see, I'm working really hard to try and open my mouth. Ah! And this is reaching a number of 0.9. But as you can see, my mouth is not open at all. Now, out of all the times that I've set this up, I have noticed that sometimes, even though your mouth is closed, your camera will not read that it's actually closed. So go ahead and adjust this lower number to whatever you need, so that way your model will keep your mouth closed. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and set this to negative one. And as you can see, my mouth is uh, staying open. So we wanna go ahead and close it. So what I always recommend, go ahead and rest your face at your lips in a closed position and see what this number right here to the left reads as. For me, it's reading zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and input zero. Perfect, it's showing my mouth is closed. For the next example, I'm gonna show you my left eye open and how we can affect that as well. As you can see, my rigger has set a maximum value of two and I made it about 0.8 to reach the highest that my eyes can be open. This is fully open right here. So if you wanted to make it harder to open, you can go ahead and increase this number. Now you can see my eye is very, very difficult to get all the way open. But if I wanted to make it easier, I can go and lower this number. And now as you can see, my eye is kind of perpetually stuck open, but you can see the effects that it has. Whatever parameters they have available to you, you can totally make whatever adjustments you want to. Make the adjustments as much as you need and as comfortable as you want to, so that way you can easily achieve the type of movement that you want for your model. Thank you all so much for tuning into this very quick guide on how to adjust the parameters of your model. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions for future guides, leave me a comment down below. I love, love reading them. Until next time, everyone, happy VTubing. This is Alara signing off. Bye-bye now.